The roar of a cereal's dryer welcomes us to White Rhino Farm. Harvest season is in full swing. Most of Richard Koech's 700-acre farm is full of maize, a staple food in Kenya. The Rift Valley region is known as the country's breadbasket. It produces thousands of tons of maize annually. But this year hasn't been easy for many farmers across Africa. Kenya is one of the countries that was affected by the fall armyworm. The situation was further complicated by the drought that hit the East African region, severely affecting the country's production. Although Richard has escaped the brunt of the outbreak, he has to contend with other challenges. Middlemen in the markets in the Inaleta Shida. There are middlemen in the markets. That's a big problem. When you want to sell your produce, the middlemen tell you the quality of your maize isn't good enough, so they'll only buy it at low prices. The quality of the maize is not good. In an attempt to cushion farmers, the government has frozen maize prices at $33 per 90 kilogram bag. It's also subsidized products such as fertilizer. So we prefer, we, we, we suggest that the quality the quality of fertilizer that the government is providing should be of high standard so that uh, for production you can uh, improve. Uh, another challenge is chemical. Chemicals that the, we, are, we are using, they are more expensive, very, very expensive. Another thing is fuel. Fuel, the fuel price is uh, fluctuating. So the time for planting or uh, plowing, the price is high. Uh, the time that you are not doing anything, the prices are low. The current political climate is adding to farmers' woes. The cash flow is very low, so you cannot sell your produce. Uh, many people are saying they don't have cash because this no, the, the politics is making it uh, very difficult. However, Richard is confident the government will address these challenges and that solutions will be available soon. Penina Karibe, CGTN. Eldoret, Kenya.